boys and girls, welcome tonight to Pajama Prayers. It's so good to have you. I hope you've had a great day and a great week. And we've been talking for a while now about getting ready for going back to school or starting school for the first time. And I've given you a lot of information about how to make friends, how to be a good friend, how to solve conflicts. So tonight we're gonna do something a little bit different because I think you're all ready. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to start by playing Hidden Pictures. Instead of our Hello game, we're going to play the Hidden Pictures game like we did last week. Now what's going to happen with the Hidden Pictures game is you're going to be shown an object and you're going to look in the big picture and try to find that object and you'll be given probably about 30 seconds or so and then we'll move on to another object. So. Let's go ahead, are you ready to play? Let's play. Can you find what's hidden in this picture? Can you find the artist brush? Can you find a lollipop? Where is the hammer? What about a crayon? The mug? What about a mitten? Where is the ice cream cone? Can you find a leaf? Can you see the drumstick? drinking straw? Can you find an envelope? What about a hat? Can you find a ladder? Now where is the flashlight? Can you find the ice pop? Pencil? 
where is the inner tube? Do you see a thumbtack? Can you find a boomerang? Do you see the fly swatter? Can you find a waffle? Can you find a bell? Do you see a toothbrush? Can you find the ladle? Can you find a slice of pizza? Do you see a needle? about a ruler. Can you find a feather? Can you see a slice of pie? What about a glove? a hockey stick? Can you find the crescent moon? Great job! Did you have fun with that? I did. I always love to play hidden pictures. I get it on my phone and I'll play it sometimes. It's so fun trying to discover all those little objects that they show in that little short amount of time that they give you. So I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for playing with me. We're gonna get right to our story tonight because we just have a couple of days now before you start to school. Except for a few of our friends that actually have already started and I hope you've been having a good week. But the name of our story tonight is The Night Before Kindergarten by Natasha Wing. So we are going to settle in and get ready and enjoy this story. Ready? I'm going to the story door.
The Night Before Kindergarten by Natasha Wing Twas the night before kindergarten, and as they prepared, kids were excited and a little bit scared. They tossed and they turned about in their beds while visions of school supplies danced in their heads. Erasers and crayons and pencils galore were stuffed in their backpacks and sat by the door. Outfits were hung in the closets with care, knowing that kindergarten soon would be there. In the morning it came, school starts today. Would the teacher be nice? Would they still get to play? Faces were washed and teeth were brushed white. Kids posed for pictures with eyes sparkling bright. Parents packed snacks and kids hopped in cars as if they were boarding a spaceship to Mars. Some kids brought blankets or their favorite stuffed bear in hopes they could nap like they did in daycare. Their parents exclaimed, You're big kids, wow! Let us hold your bears and blankies for now. The parents were worried their children would cry if they left them at school with just a goodbye. So they told their darlings, If you want, we can stay and make sure that everything will be okay. The teacher then greeted each one with a smile and invited the students to stay for a while. The room was all filled with toys, books, and maps, but where were the beds for mid-morning naps? They colored and painted and played Simon Says then tumbled and skipped and stood on their heads. They sang silly songs from beginning to end. With just a minute, each kid had a friend. The children were happy they loved Miss Sunrise. It was she who was in for a giant surprise. When what to her wondering eyes should appear but sad moms and dads who were holding back tears, their noses so sniffly, their eyes red and wet. This was the saddest goodbye Miss Sunrise had seen yet. She gathered all the grown-ups on the magical rug, then sent them away after one final hug. The children all waved from the door of the school. Don't cry, Mom and Dad. Kindergarten is cool. The End Boys and girls, what a great story. And it's getting you all ready for kindergarten. I have a scripture too just to remind you about friendship so that you'll be off to a great start with making new friends. The scripture tonight is found in the book of Proverbs, right in the middle of the Bible. And it is the 17th Proverbs and the 17th verse, okay? 17th chapter, the 17th verse, and this is what it says. A friend loveth at all times. Remember, to be a good friend, you have to show love. I want you to bow your heads with me. I'm going to pray for you that you will have a great time at school this year and a fun time of learning. Are you ready? Bow your heads, please. Father in heaven, we love you so much, and we thank you for the privilege that we have of going to school and learning how to read and how to write and 
how to do math. And we also thank you for the privilege of learning to be good friends. And we're going to ask you that you will help us as we start our new school year to make friends easily, to show ourselves friendly, and to be kind in everything that we do, to consider others, and just be pleasing to you and show your love to everybody we come in contact with. For all the little boys and girls that are a little bit nervous about starting school, I ask that you will be there with them and comfort them and that you will give them boldness and let them know that you are with them. In the name of Jesus, we ask these things, amen. So boys and girls, you are all ready to go to school and you're all ready to have a great year. Now, if you have missed any pajama prayers or you wanna go back and watch some of the stories again, Google YouTube, Google, excuse me, Google on YouTube, pajama prayers with PJ and it's posted there and you can watch it as many times as you like over and over again if you wish. So don't forget to do that. And the last thing I need to tell you is to just turn to someone that's there with you and say you are worth more than you know, capable of more than you think, and loved more than you can imagine. Boys and girls, I love you to pieces, so have a great, great week.